The world is changing rapidly. So is the worldwide landscape of development aid. International funding to civil society organizations in the global south is changing, and in many cases, decreasing. The threats are many. The need is clear. Aid agencies are changing their thematic and geographical focus. There is large-scale withdrawal of grants to emerging economies like India, Brazil and South Africa. At the same time, the pressure on civil society is increasing. Its space to operate as an independent development actor is diminishing in many places. Local fundraising contributes towards a greater sustainability of organizations to fulfill their mission and vision. It results in less dependency on one donor or funding source, less vulnerability to pressure from government, deeper relationships with the community, a greater sense of ownership and pride, and it builds trust. This leads to greater autonomy, more freedom, and more equality. Fortunately, the potential is enormous. The potential for domestic resource mobilization in cash, in kind, and in volunteer time is rapidly increasing. To start with, middle classes in countries like India, Brazil, and Kenya are growing and are becoming an increasing source of income and other forms of support for CSOs. Emerging economies are surging ahead in giving. For example, more Indians donate money to charity in a typical month than anywhere else in the world. Brazil ranks number eight in total number of people giving money to charity. Kenya ranks 33rd out of 135 in the World Giving Index. You could say that Kenya already has quite a strong giving culture. India has surpassed the USA, with as many as 157 million people volunteering in a typical month and has first ranking. Brazil ranks nine in terms of the number of people volunteering. The size of the middle class in India is comparable with the entire population of the USA, which still is the most important market for fundraising worldwide. Countries like India and Brazil are moving from being recipient countries to becoming donor countries. Also, in emerging economies, the corporate sector is booming. More and more companies take their responsibility towards society through corporate social responsibility. Therefore, companies are also a growing potential source of income for NGOs. In India, for example, the law requires large companies to spend at least 2% of their net profit on corporate social responsibility. And in Brazil, corporate giving has been growing constantly over the past few years. In addition, new technologies, and particularly social media, offer new, exciting, low-cost ways for advocacy, involvement, and fundraising. Social networks are effective tools for CSOs to involve donors and the public. And as traditional methods for sharing, but also new programs have proven, poor people themselves often also have a possibility to contribute. To summarize, there is a great need to mobilize local resources. With understanding of the local context and knowledge of the potential support base, there are also good opportunities for mobilizing local resources in cash, in kind and in time.